on the especially Pope as yeah, the devil worshiper. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
forgery, fraud, intimidation, willfully creating an event such as emergency, and mischief as property has been made inoperative. Okay. So we would say that the cheapest party to these offenses, okay. and the most important one is lockdown suicides becoming murder, or healthcare related deaths becoming murder. So we are in effect accusing the chief of police Halton and every other chief of police in Ontario right. of murder. Lockdown suicides become murder. Silence. Silence. For keeping silence. Okay. Yeah. So here's the criminal information. Okay. It's broken up into several pieces. The first page is the, what you would file against uh, somebody. Uh, that, that would be the form two. And then the second set of pages are an explanation of how we determined the signature fraud or okay. forgery. We made white, we made white into black, and you can see pixel editing all over the place. So this is, these clearly, and who is this? We don't even know whose signature that is. That's the chair of cabinet. So some of the things that are missing on, for example, the orders in council, and I have copies of orders in council. Some of the things that are missing on orders in council our, um, let's see, here's an order in council. There is no name. There's no name. No name. There's no regulation number on the signature page. There's no stamp of the lieutenant governor. There's no signed at Toronto, Queen's Park, or wherever these were signed for. And illegible. And so this signature looks decent. This is about one of the only signatures that look decent but it's been copied and pasted, as you can see here. See, this, this, this document here, I believe, could be the declaration of emergency. Recommended is broken from the rest of the word. And ED, if not on this document, it's, it's one pixel down from the rest of the word. And this here is a curl that was edited out. So this is 366 criminal code, forgery. And so if this is forgery and the chief of police did fail, to do anything on this, they failed to report as is his duty okay. for code of conduct, then we are accusing him of lockdown, suicide, becoming murder, criminal negligence, causing death, section 220 of the Canadian Criminal Code, life in prison, and section 229C, a couple of homicide is murder, because that would make all of this an unlawful act without the intention of a death, and yet there is a death. And lockdown suicides are a death. Okay. And it's also an element of torture too, that's caused people to commit suicide and lose their ability to earn income. Let's not forget the kids. And, and also... Our kids. And yours. And also, just as a supplement, the Canadian Bill of Rights, the pertinent part is uh, the respect for Parliament and its constitutional authority and which shall ensure the protection of these rights and freedoms in Canada. Freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, freedom of religion. The Chief also failed to, uh, to uphold this and question parliamentarians by way of either himself, you, you the OPP, and the RCMP. Okay. Now, you know you can file private information. And so that's another reason for section 83.01 bracket 1 bracket B of the criminal code charge right here, 83.01 bracket 1 bracket B. The ability to file an information is there only in the ability to, to hand into the, um, to the JP office right. this package. Okay. But since March 17th last year, the beginning of the lockdown, they were not processing applications. So that is a disruption and an interference of an essential service. Okay. That's why we're coming to the police. So is, that, is that process still in place now? I don't know, but it's, it was in place for over a year for sure. I don't know if it's this month. But have you and, explored and it now? No, no, because there's two, the people are killing themselves. The criminality is too big. Please. Kids, please. 12 years yeah. old, are killing themselves. So, our biggest accusation and we are is part of the defense of lockdown suicides become murder. We're accusing the chief of possible, and we need you to investigate the chief for murder, okay. among everything else, and forgery. Now, your, what's your name, sir? I, I'd like to remain anonymous, please. We need to have a complainant if we're going to do Well, she's the complainant. Okay. But you're doing all the, all the talking. That's I'm, I'm assisting her. She understands everything I'm saying. Okay. Right, We're all together in this. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, listen, we will take this information. I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. We'll file a report. Um, the information will be, will be filed. And um, I mean, we'll...
we'll have our you want to lay a uh, complaint against our chief i mean that's that's well within well, your we, right we, to do so we have yeah. yep yep and um you know we'll forward it up to our our legal department they can take a look at this and go from there okay so I can't promise have, you anything because i honestly yeah, don't yeah, yeah 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 so all we want is an investigation into the criminality of the chief of police sure absolutely of, uh Halton region yep so when I'll you, be honest with you, what you're listing here and what you're stating as far as signatures and stuff is, is beyond my, my role. Yeah, I understand that part. Right? Yeah, I understand so, that. Um, yeah. But we'll... Uh, her. And then do we get the incident uh, done? Yeah, yeah, we'll give you the incident okay. right this okay. second. Okay, yeah. yeah. And okay, so uh, which, do you have a business card? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then we'll need your business card. Yeah. And sure, I want to yeah. mention no. something. We are here yeah. well, because we have so much respect for you. So we are here. Okay. Yeah. To ask for help. Sure. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Well, we know what we're heading into. Oh yeah. We're gonna be back with a crime against kids. And we're not here to criticize you. We're here to help no, you. No, no, no. So we're here in support of what, Section 1.2 of the Police Services Act. Yes. Safeguard the fundamental rights and freedoms in the Human Rights Code. Because we understand as police officers, it would be very difficult to go against the lieutenant governor who's done all of this through order, created the, the lockdown suicides becoming murder. Uh, and it's also very difficult to go against your chief of police, too. So you can go against your chief of police using the Canadian Bill of Rights and the, and the Charter of Rights, Section 1B of the Canadian Bill of Rights, equal benefit and equal protection of the law where no one is above the law. The same with Section 15 of the Charter, Equal Benefit, Equal Protection of Law. The Chief of Police is not above the law. No, nope, and, and even um, even in Ron Corelli versus Duplessis in 1959 Supreme Court case, the judge stated that if you act outside of statutory authority, you're privately liable. So we are stating that the Chief is criminally liable okay. for allowing the Lieutenant Governor to continue on with all of this and doing nothing about it. Okay. Yeah. I just want to get, I just want to make sure I have it right so I'm going to take the report. Yeah. Again, I apologize for the call. Okay, it's time to be stopped. You guys are involved. Yeah. We need your help. We're coming to you. We need, help. We, all of us, we need your help. Yeah. This is the reason why yeah. we are here. This is crippling our children's future and everything. So, so, and I'm so, so sure but all of you have yeah. kids and grandkids. Yeah. Or an uncle, you're an uncle to someone. Yeah, and, and also, also you now know this, and so we expect you to follow through to act against yep. the lieutenant governor. Please. So you feel the chief is just to get the word right. You feel the chief is responsible for a murder, a party to offense murder, section 21 of the Canadian Criminal Code. And the reason being because we've given information and we don't believe he's acted on it. And he has a duty to report, as in Section 2 of the uh, regulations of the schedule of the Police Services Act. And it's actually in one of the documents, it's the cover page of uh, uh, neglect of duty. It's in neglect of duty of the schedule of the regulation of the Police Services Act. It's uh, OREG 260, 10 or 20, or I'm not sure, but it's, it's, in, it's in the documentation. Okay, what, did, and what was it that you mentioned about the Attorney General and the... Sorry. Lieutenant Governor. Sorry. And, and the Lieutenant know. Governor, through order, committed uh, forgery and murder and torture and violated religious services so and you're committed saying, mischief. So you're saying the Lieutenant Governor, by making this order... Yes. Committed all of these crimes right these there. And, on page one, yes. And Tanner, the Chief... Did nothing... That's what he's after doing. after yeah. given the information, so he's party to the offense because he's allowed that criminal yeah, he to continue nothing. on as people are killing themselves. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Okay. Not to mention economic impacts on yes, everyone. Yes, that's right. Oh. And that would be mischief. That's right. Section 430, making properties inoperative. And so, if, for example, if I knew you and you were Doug Ford and, and I was the Lieutenant Governor, I saw signatures like this, I would go, Dougie, you okay? Is it the crack? Dougie? But if they do say that it's their signatures, does that mean that Well, if you see the home? document, yeah, it's acceptable, but this, okay. it, it's, it's pixel edited. So only a, a computer whiz 
would have been able to place it on a document. Right. It's not a wet signature, right. and it's not an electronic signature. But for the big devil's out, if, if, if Doug Ford or the sort of governor said that, yeah, I signed those and they approved these orders, then well, we, we, avoid, right? Or she's yeah. off the hook. The crimes, still no, there, they're still they're right. still there. Like murder, still there, regardless yeah. of the forgery. Okay. And there's exactly. people complicit in making those changes, so there's more than one person that yeah. knows about this. Yeah. Okay. And they should be exposed. Yeah. As so well. it's it's murder, period. And there's all kinds of examples of what she just said going on. Yeah, like, yeah. especially in the Halton region, with the hospitals in the Halton region. My father died three weeks ago Saturday of his second vaccination of heart attack-like symptoms. But anyway, I don't want to, we don't want to, we're here for this reason here. Let's focus on this one thing. We're here to focus on this. We know all the other stuff going on. Okay. Okay. okay, so can we have an incident? No, yeah, it's got to go back to this incident. Back in the back of the car. Oh. All right, that's my name. My badge is in the front. I'm no longer at this district. I'm a Right you have a card though, right? We're going to get a card. I would like both I cards. Yeah. 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 No, no. Who yeah. else wants to make a complaint? Who's got paperwork for this? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so come forward. Do you want to get yeah. your name and we'll just put yeah. it all in my name for sure? Awesome. Here we go. And we'd like an incident number. It's going to be the same incident. Yeah. 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 All right, sir, go. James Glenn. Uh, did birth June 21, 67. Oh, Sorry, 1967. Yeah. I'm not going to go Avenue East. Apartment 14, 10. Charlton, C-H-A-R-L-T-O-N. Uh, Avenue Street, you want to go? Oh, sure. Uh, and a number between two and three? 289. Okay, 687, 287. I'm going to step a little bit outside of that perimeter. Every single person here, they're going to filed a complaint and it's amazing we are so surprised the police it was kind of nice actually and um, we're gonna be back and we're gonna keep going to every single police station till they're gonna listen to us because they are human like us and their parents and uncles and yes i have The reason is why it's all about what the Lieutenant Governor. Because we know protesters all around the world. We're not going to fight 10 people against 50 people. We know. Uh, I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. Scientists and doctors and, and journalists and writers, they are silenced. They are suppressed not to speak about. This is not. Freedom of the speech has been interfered yeah, This is not is about. This is not about we are rebellious about from the 1940s or 50s, whatever. Yeah. No, it's not about. We are. We are no criminality, millions around the world. They are suppressing doctors and scientists and everything. Yeah, we are not Only saying the virus doesn't exist. We don't say that. We are not here for that. We are on the CBC propaganda, COVID, COVID, COVID. Now it's available for the kids. How do you feel? How do, you, do we feel they to give you, uh, 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 to give, to, to inject the kids with, with untested experimental kill shots? Would you feel your kids and your, your brothers and sisters, your family? They are suffering, they are dying, and they are not exposed. But we know it. We are com coming as a brothers and sisters to you guys. Okay. Please state your criminal That's what it is. Staying strong, be courageous to end up this evil. Yeah. Because this mask is not protecting nothing. 
just you're obeying for okay, your job. Stay on what criminal code conduct you want to report. Stay focused. Uh, He's basically reverberating what yeah. you're saying with yeah. additional information. Yeah. Okay, so you have another so person. Another anonymous person. Anonymous person. Anonymous person. Yeah. Is it the same? Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, it's yeah. We're, it's all going to go in as one guy's so yeah, We're just going to put. Well, we'd like you to hand it to other police officers. Yeah. We'd like to reach 26,000 police officers and Ontario that would be municipal. We don't do that. Yeah, we don't do that. That'll be on you guys if you want to reach okay. out. But yeah, what, so what will happen is we're, this will be filed. Okay. It's going to go to our, our, our legal department because, like I said, this is above what you're alleging yeah. here. It's beyond, beyond our realm of, of what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be signed. You've got your, your, your current support. It'll go to our, our, our legal department and they'll, and they'll address it from that day. Uh, but at, at this, this is step one. This is the best that we can offer yeah. you right now. Yeah, hit your phone. Yeah, I have to get it from the car. Sorry, yeah, somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for yeah. 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 Please stand so, with yeah. us. Yeah. Well, because this is it's more not so much that than we're, just we're here to assist you in the police service section. Just stand with us. You've got to get the gift. You have to get the gift. And then human rights take this piece for no information. I'm good. I don't need it. No, thank you. I don't need it for my information. Thank you. But I'll get you my card, and then we'll, if there's yeah. any, anybody else had any questions over here? No, we well, appreciate okay. for doing that. Let me shake your hands, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. No shake. Okay. I have, I have a question. I have a question off the, off the camera. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Next time, maybe more people are coming.